suspicions that he had something to do with the murder of Sindiso Magaka. My colleague Ayanda Mklomo is standing by at the court uh, to tell us more. Ayanda, what's the latest? Yeah, very good afternoon to you and we bring you this breaking news from the Mzumkulu Magistrates Court where the charges of murder and attempted murder against the mayor of the Harikwala district, Mlule Gindobe, as well as the municipal manager of the Mzumkulu local municipality, Zuelis Pants Kosane, have been dropped. Uh, Mr. Ndobe has now been released. We're going to try and see if we can quickly uh, squeeze in a comment for him. He did speak to the media um, earlier on uh, today. Let's Let's see if we can uh, just quickly uh, grab a uh, hold of him. Of course, you know that uh, he was uh, appearing alongside uh, three other, uh, four other rather, accused here for in a connection with the murder of uh, Cindy Somakaka, the late former uh, Secretary General of the ANC uh, Youth of the ANC Youth League. So let's see if we can just um, grab a second uh, with him, Mr. Ndobe. You are live on SABC News. I know you have made a comment to us, but you are live. Just very briefly, sir, uh, your comments. You came out of court. You're not a happy man. Well, I said, um, firstly, let me greet you and uh, greet the viewers at home. Uh, in my earlier media briefing, I said, I have mixed feelings about this. I am relieved to some extent, but at the same time, I'm very emotional and very angry about this whole situation. It is not a child's play to be put in hell for eight full days while you know that you are innocent. I can be accused of anything, but definitely not murder or conspiracy to commit murder. I know I was here to clear my name and today the state is not ready to continue. They decide to withdraw the charges, even though they say provisionally. Even if they come tomorrow or next year, I will still be ready. But for today, I'm not going to say much. I am meeting with my legal team uh, in a short while, but I will also be taking counsel from the leadership of the ANC about the whole situation. But I just want to take the opportunity and thank everyone, particularly the residents of Herikwala district, for supporting me as their mayor, but also the leadership of the ANC at all levels, for believing in my innocence as a person and for observing the rules of the principles of um, uh, natural justice, that everyone is presumed innocent until proven guilty. Thank you. Mr. Ndoba, thank you. I know the police are uh, pulling him away, uh, saying that he now needs to leave uh, the uh, court precinct as he leaves uh, together with uh, the municipal manager of the Mzumkulu magistrate, uh, I beg your pardon, the Mzumkulu uh, municipality, Mr. Zweli Panzi Kosane. Both have been uh, uh, charges against them, which were initially murder, one count of murder and two of attempted murder have been withdrawn here at the Mzumkul, of course. The other three uh, accused, uh, who were accused alongside the, the two men who have now been released, uh, will be back in court tomorrow. Their bail uh, application uh, will be made uh, tomorrow. Lawyers for them saying that they needed time uh, today, so that matter will continue here at this court tomorrow. And the state uh, saying that it will continue uh, with uh, the other three uh, suspects uh, in this matter. And I tell you, outside uh, we can just hear the uh, uh, screams, uh, uh, joy outside. Uh, hundreds of people are outside the Mzumkulu uh, court awaiting to the, uh, to, uh, the two uh, as they will be going out. As we understand, they will be going out to uh, brief or to speak rather uh, to the crowds that are waiting for them. The uh, Makaka family uh, were also here in court. We will also try and catch up uh, with them as well just to hear on their side how they uh, feel about uh, what has happened here in court. We'll come back to us in a, a little while. We'll be moving outside to where uh, the hundreds of uh, community members have gathered. We will also try and speak uh, to uh, the uh, family of the late ANC Secretary General Cindy Sotmakag. For now, studio, back to you. Thanks very much, Ayanda, for that report. We're going to go for a short break and have more news for you thereafter.